It's another Steve Spangler Science Monday, and today we're making bowling balls float in what is this? It's water, uh, and everybody's been asking that question. So here's the easiest way to do it. I'm going to help you, and you're going to get into the water. So what? I know, you. Steve. All right, and then I just hand you the... <laughs> all right, well, if you want to no. do it the hard way, we can do it the hard <laughs> way. So, All right, take a look at the uh, gander, the okay. bowling ball selection here. Right, I did not lift them from a bowling alley. I actually, these are these are defective ones, or maybe ones that people don't want anymore at a garage sale or something. <laughs> right. I didn't know this, but all bowling balls are exactly the same size. Did you know that? No, I didn't. So uh, I checked out, and according to the Pro Bowlers Association, no ball should be more than 27 inches, nor less than 26.7 inches okay. in, uh, in circumference. So, um, so so they all have to be the same, and I didn't realize that. So the only difference is the amount of stuff that they put inside, so the density of the bowling ball. Okay. So here, for example, hand me the 12-pound ball. There's the, oh, see, look, at there you go. Here's the 12-pound oh. ball. Float or sink, what do you think? Sink. All right, let's take a look and see. Float or sink. And Float. look at this. Oh, Even it with all the air just, came out of the hole. This is the amazing weight. So if anybody asks, what's the, the weight? The 12 pounds is the amazing weight because 12 pounds is almost exactly, if you calculate the density of it, right. almost exactly one. And the density of water is one gram per cubic uh, centimeter. So ah. that's, that's the amazing weight. So here, take a look at this one here. Let's take a look right. at the white one. The white one is 16 pounds. Okay. So grab that 16 pounder. Oh, good. Now you and I will just toss it back and forth for fun right. later on, right? So <laughs> absolutely no pro problem at all. <laughs> the 16 pounder sinks with okay. no problem at all. Just because its overall density is greater than one. So it's really at about 1.3 somewhere around oh, okay. there. And this is an eight pound ball. Again, the same size, right. but this is an eight pound ball. And so this sits over here. It really is, watch this. It's no wonder oh, that that yeah. floats. So if you're looking for a bathtub toy for your, your <laughs> friend, you know, your niece, your nephew, you just get them an eight pound bowling ball. <laughs> No, what could be more here. fun than, than that? It'll take out the side of the bathtub, but right. it's a tremendous amount of fun to play with. You know, it's one of these things that's great for kids to kind of take a look at as well, because you, you look at it and you see an aircraft carrier floats. How does that work? And Archimedes says that when you put something in water, it displaces its weight in water. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, it's displacing its weight in water, but it just uh, the volume of the bowling ball is bigger than eight pounds of water, if you gotcha. think of it that way. So the magic is 12 pounds. 12 pounds. So 12, sometimes you can get 12 to just barely float. Uh, let's see if there's big enough for us. There it see, is. See, they're, they're all jockeying for position in there. See yep. how it goes? But just going to barely float that way. And now you've answered the question, does a bowling ball actually float? And the answer is yes, anything under 12 pounds will float, and anything over 12 pounds will sink. And if you can find a 12-pounder, it just barely hovers. Uh -huh. And we've answered your question. So. Well, thanks, Steve. Are you sure That's you don't so want to cool. get in the water again? I'm absolutely okay. positive. It's fun. Maybe next time.